Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to be showing you some of the week's best new tweaks that came out on Cydia. Since I'm uploading this video on Thursday instead of the usual Tuesday, this is only going to cover tweaks that were released through Tuesday of this week, so that we have a full week's worth of tweaks available for next week's video. The first tweak that I want to show you is called Mini Player. It's available on Big Boss and it's a paid tweak for $2. You can see it over on the left of the screen there as a tiny little white tab and if we grab that and pull it on screen then you can see the current song that we're listening to. Right now it's playing a song by the Mountain Goats and if we tap it, you, you oh, so you can see we have the uh, album art right over there, and if we tap it then we can choose to go to the next song, go to the previous song, or pause. Those controls disappear after a few seconds if you don't do anything so you gotta choose what you want to do right away and you can see now we've paused the music. This works with uh, the default music app as well as Spotify, I've used it with both, and any other app that plays music. So it's just a quick little tweak and it sits off to the side there if you you want it. It also has a settings pane where you can choose to hide it during the, when it's paused or hide it on the lock screen. So you can see that if we turn that on and go ahead and lock our device, uh, we won't see the music player. And if we unlock using Atom, then it is right back where we left it. So you can also hide it during the pause, which means that when it's paused you won't see it and you'll have to start playing music before it'll appear. And you also have the options to follow Manzo Power and Shurnix, who are the developers of this tweak. The next tweak I'm going to show you is called Luna. It is available also in Big Boss for $1.99, and I'm going to start off demoing it on the lock screen. What it basically does is makes the Do Not Disturb feature that Apple added a lot more accessible. To turn it on from the lock screen, you just grab the time and pull down, and you can see that's the Do Not Disturb icon right there. And if you pull down and release, then it slides right up into the status bar, as you can see, and it has the Do Not Disturb icon, just like it does when Do Not Disturb is on on your device regularly. And to turn it off from the lock screen, you just go ahead and pull it down, and it'll get you an X release, and Do Not Disturb will be turned off. For those of you that don't know, Do Not Disturb is a feature that Apple added that basically makes it so that notifications aren't going to buzz your phone, they'll just come in silently and not disturb you. That's why it's called Do Not Disturb. Additionally, Luna makes it so that you can access Do Not Disturb from Notification Center in much the same way that you access it from the lock screen. You just go into Notification Center and go ahead and pull down and you can see that Do Not Disturb will show up and slide right up into the status bar and then you pull down and it'll turn off. One thing I love about this is the animation that it has going from there's a Twitter text I just got and we'll wait for that to go away so I can show you this animation is when we release the moon slides right up into the status bar it's a really fluid animation and it's really well done and I want to show you a cool feature that this has uh, when the do Not Disturb is enabled, not only does it make it easier to turn on and off, but if you watch up at the top, when we have Do Not Disturb enabled and we get a notification, instead of coming in with the big banner, it just has a tiny little unobtrusive banner that slides in at the top, barely takes up the room of the, st of the status bar, but still has the uh, name and message of the person that sent you a notification. Luna, once again, it's $1.99 on Cydia, and it's a really great tweak, and it basically extends the features of Do Not Disturb. The next tweak I want to show you is called Vlox. It's available on Big Boss for $1.99, and basically what it does is it adds some gestures and functionality to the apps that you have on your home screen. So, basically, you just slide down or up on an app, and it'll open up a little widget right on the home screen that has the functionality of that app. You can see with the camera app, it slides out and we can actually take pictures of whatever we have. Right now it's not very exciting, I've got a light there, my computer, and it basically has something different for a bunch of different default apps. For settings, we slide up and we can get to a bunch of toggles that they have there. You can see Wi-Fi, Do Not Disturb, the LED on your phone, and you can access more by sliding through the pages. And you can see a full list, if you want If you want a full list of all the different things, notes, uh, you open a new note. If you want a full list of all the things, you can check out the link down in the description. We have a more in-depth coverage of this on our website. 
And the last tweak I want to show you is a freebie on Big Boss. It's called Slide to Kill, and it does exactly what it sounds like. If you have your multitasking bar opened up, you just grab an app and slide down to kill it. I have had some trouble getting this enabled. To get it to work, I had to go into settings, disable it, and re-enable it after I installed it. But once it does, it works exactly like it expects, and it's very fluid as well. I noticed that you have to grab at the top of the app mostly and drag it down. You can't grab in the middle because there's not enough room to drag off the screen there. But if you grab at the top and pull down, the app will disappear and everything will slide along just normally. So it just adds a quicker way to kill apps than holding one down and opening up the menu to close them. That concludes the four tweaks I have for you today. Once again, these are only the tweaks released through Tuesday. So next Tuesday, I'll have a full week's worth of tweaks to show you guys. But Please subscribe if you want to see more of these. We'll be doing one every single week to show you the greatest new tweaks that come out. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.